Hey Dalton, this is Daniel from Josh and Danny SEO. So uh, just taking a look around, seeing uh, what we can find as far as website goes. And uh, what I came up with is your GMB, which is, you know, for the map area, of course. Um, that's good to have, at least you have it. Many people don't. It looks like that you don't have much of something, which is fine. This is step one in getting anything done. Um, no website, obviously, so not a lot I can go with. I do have your, I believe this is you. If I were to go here. Yep. Free estimates. You're on Home Advisor. Um, send a message. Always open. This is great. You're not posting very often. Bad, bad, bad. You always want to post. Always want to post. Okay, so let me show you what happens when you actually do have a website. So I'm going to break it down step by step for you. So, Painters, Alexandria, LA. I mean, that's kind of like the area I believe you're in. If not, that's okay. This is just for demonstrational purposes anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You're right here in Ball, so, I mean, I guess this might have been the bigger area. But, essentially, this keyword holds two points. It is a specific service and a specific location. When I'm trying to find anything in my life and I'm Googling it, I will get extremely specific with what I'm looking for, and that's exactly what I did here. Now, this is how you create Google Ads, by the way. You use these kind of keywords. But this is also how we create, um, you know, uh, those kind of keywords that we know if people are are using these, then they they're called buyer intentional keywords. They're, they hold a lot more value than people just saying painters near me, because that keyword can be anywhere in the world. Now, right here we have that GMB. Now you do have one, which is good. Unfortunately, if you're not in the top three, you're it's kind of worthless. So, um. As you can see, they all have websites. If you don't, people kind of skip over you. You want to start getting, you know, reviews to your website and answering the reviews. Even if you don't have a lot, that's still okay. Um, but 30 to 40% of all people searching for anything will click on one of these three sites. Anyway, after that, because I think this is a very small area or just very spread out, um, you're not going to have a lot of, uh, of your big, you know, Local competitors, you got Yelp, Yellow Pages, Home Advisor, Andy's List. Now, I don't even care much about them. Even a Facebook page got up here. I don't care much about all of this stuff because they're not local uh, except for the Facebook guy or and house. But All Pro Paint, um, this is kind of the uh, uh, the first local person here. Now, because they're small areas, um, many people might not want to focus on them. But it's definitely something that you can work on really well. You can take out the the non-local competition, such as like those, uh, you know, Yelp, BuzzFeed, stuff like that, because that's just the way it works. Um, but anyway, let's go through these guys. Let's give you an, an idea of what's going on. So all of this, I would much rather them have a drop-down menu for each one. Uh, gallery, Watches Us rev Reviews is the only drop-down menu, um, because this doesn't, I know they do painting, but it doesn't exactly give us an idea of paint and drywall very nice, but I want to get to something specific. See how they do residential painting, commercial, drywall service, pressure washing? Um, if they had that in the drop-down menu, it would have been even better, but even better than that would have been interior painting, exterior painting, pressure washing, drywall sheetrock repair, texture removal, maybe even if they do faux stuff, uh, they can also do cabinet. Big picture here, cabinet is a huge business. People love that. There's trim and paint. There's there, there's there's stripping. There's so much you can do if, if that's what you think people are looking for. Well, that's my job to find, not yours. But anyway, at least he's talking about his services, and that's exactly what you want. You want content. You want to talk about what you have to offer. Otherwise, it's not going to be worthwhile to have. Schedule today. You want this out here. Services needed, so this is good. Message, perfect, perfect. Now, what you don't have is a footer over here with your table of contents. This should stay at the top and you should have a table of contents on the bottom. Um, <clears throat> now let's go over to the back end of their business. So because this is a small area, uh, it doesn't look like they got much going on over here, but a UR rating is how strong their website is and a DR rating is how much Google likes them. And all of it runs on backlinks. Now a backlink is where you have your website link somewhere else where somebody can click on it. Referring domain is um, the unique ones that return back to you. Now, um, not all are equal. Some are BuzzFeed, Wikipedia stuff. You definitely do not want those. Um, and some is just a listing where you know no one will click on you at all. But then finally, we have six organic keywords, six different variations for this person to get somebody to his website. Let's find out what they are. The only good one in here is Painters in Alexandria, LA, because 30 people a month searched for it. He's getting one person a month because he's in position 10. Now, when you're in position one, two, or three, you will get anywhere from 10 to 20%. 
That's three people a month through one keyword. Now imagine if you had 10 keywords all ranking in the top three that were similar to this with similar, that's 300 people, that's 30 people a month coming to you from keywords that are buyer intentional and that's exactly what we want. Now obviously we want more than three, it wouldn't just be Alexandria, maybe it would be Ball or all the surrounding areas, but this is that's the point. So step number one for you, um, which you did really well with, is you have a GMB. Good. Step number two is you need to build a website and divide it into a couple sections, one of them being service, one of them being locations. And then the next thing is you need content in there. And then finally, within the content, we need keywords. And then after the keywords, we need to start creating a good backlink profile. Now, uh, we want quality over quantity, so you don't need 360 of them for this smaller area, but it's definitely something to look at. Anyway, that's all I really have for you. If you do have any questions,